So, there are dangers here, right? If I stay, if I sit through and he starts to try to push on that arm, if he can block it off with his chest, he can get back on top. Worse yet, if he could block that arm off and come over the top, now I can start trying to choke him. Right? So you do have to be aware of that. Does that make sense? If they start pulling their chest out and you can't maintain that contact on the far arm, right, you're going to need to pull that back. Right? So, I'm going to try it. Boom. I get my arm free. That's my first and foremost. Now, if he bows his chest forward and I lose connection, I start coming back. That's fine. I just come back to my frame. Right? I'm still out on my hip. There's still space in between us. Now, as he rotates back on top of me, I swim my underhook. Right? Kick, and I'm out the back. All right? So what I'm trying to do here is disconnect their chest from my chest, disconnect that head from my shoulder so I can swim my under. My frame now becomes more effective. If I just try to bench him, okay, he's going to transition to something else. Knee on belly, mount, whatever it is. So instead, I'm creating motion and creating that disconnection to swim. Pull. One more time. So starting from the beginning, I get my frame in here. Right? He takes this away. I start to post. I want to sure to get up, but he doesn't let me. I lose that connection. Fine, as he comes back up, my hand comes right underneath his hip. Down the throw. Yes? And go ahead and finish the other back. One, two, three.